What's going on, No Doubt fam? We're here at Comerica Park at the Comerica Park Showcase. We have a very special guest, Matt Beard. He's a student assistant coach over at University of Tennessee. Fired up to have him here scouting, recruiting, and he'll be giving instruction. Thanks for being here, Matt. Appreciate you. Appreciate you uh, inviting me out. It's awesome to be here. Uh, like I've told you, I've never been to Michigan, let alone Detroit, so excited to be here. It's a beautiful ballpark. You've done a great job with this uh, event today. Um, a lot of talent here, so I'm excited to be here. Matt, talk to us a little bit about, you know, you guys had a really exciting season. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about just like the culture at University of Tennessee and, you know, some things that get you guys fired up, some things that you guys try to think about every day. Like, what's your approach uh, for, the, for the culture of that team? I think first and foremost, um, it's a player-led culture. So players keep each other accountable. Um, and the most important thing is the competition aspect. Coach Vitello is huge on just competing, um, not uh, only against other teams, but also against your own teammates and scrimmages and whatever it is. And so the culture is being competitive, being fired up, uh, being passionate about the game that you're playing, because you're only going to get to play for so long. So it's, uh, the culture is just really being passionate about the game of baseball. Obviously, every time that you get to you know, make a run in playoffs, that's a special feeling. It's a, it's a great thing. You had some momentum. You know, and going into playoffs, you guys were really hot. It was a lot of fun to watch. We all enjoyed. You know, what, are, what do you think were a couple things that were like key factors towards like that playoff push? And uh, you know, maybe some key guys who really helped you get there. I'd say a couple of the key things is, again, that, that passion to win. The most important thing is going to be winning and striving to win. Uh, coach Vitello, the head coach, is probably the most passionate uh, head coach in college baseball. So he's going to continue to instill that into the players. Um, and then building off of passion is passion with each other. So being great teammates, doing anything you can for your teammates to help them win. And um, in terms of the, the run, um, the guys just want to be with each other as long as they can. So they understand that this game or in a week could be the last game that uh, of the season and they want to stay with each other as long as they can so that's important to them. Question for you I know a lot of people are wondering at home you guys had a little bit of a celebration that you guys were doing you guys were getting second base maybe some hand gestures like is uh what can you do it for us can you show us uh, what it looks like? Uh sure <laughs> I, I can do that. Uh, <laughs> Let's uh, see it Matt let's see it. Uh, Drew Gilbert invented the baby John and so he just pops it open and puts it on his face and kneels down. Sometimes there's a scream, but uh, I'm sad to say that it, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, you'd have to contact Drew Gilbert to see if there's a, a hidden meeting behind there. So you guys, you guys heard him. Uh, make sure you hop on Twitter, tag Drew Gilbert, ask him what is the meaning behind it, if there is a meaning. But right now we're getting there's no meaning behind the celebration. Just gets the boys hype. Gets the boys hype. The, the boys love it. They love celebrating something together. Um, sometimes they'll come out of the dugout and celebrate it with each other. So they love it. And then uh, around Knoxville, uh, some of the youth players started doing it as well. So Drew and the other guys really like seeing that as well. You guys are building a really cool culture. A lot of fun to watch. Appreciate you uh, coming out and uh, working with us today. Absolutely. Thanks so much.